A much more accurate way of removing the background, if you want a really accurate removal, is to use one of the lasso tools. Um, so freehand selection, polygon selection, or magnetic selection. And again, it'll depend on how accurate it is, and it'll depend on the image. So I'll start with the magnetic one. What the magnetic one does is it looks for the edge of the image. So it says, okay, if I click there, it decides that I was looking for the edge of his T-shirt. And I'm just dragging it along, and it's just looking for sections. Start dragging along. So it's making the decision. It decides the side of his ear. It's okay. If I double-click there, I can now just click the delete button on the keyboard, and it removes that section. Now, as we said earlier, the problem here, of course, is that what it's done is it's taken out a white section. So I'd have to undo that and to make sure that it removes the background and doesn't just replace it with a white background, I need to use the background eraser first, then my magnetic one. Oops, clicking might be good. I'm going to start on the side of his neck, draw down, I see it's... You are relying on it to make the guesses. So down there, and then up there, and across there, and then down his hat. Eventually it decides that's okay. I want to get near the end, I can double click. I want to delete it, removes that. So one of them is the magnetic. A second one, if I go back, I can use. The second one is the one I prefer, which is the polygon. This allows you to select, click very short lines. So I'm clicking down the side of his hat. When I get to his ear, I'm going to go across, and I'm going to do it in very, very short line pieces. And I'm making a judgment, because it's quite blurry when your clothes in this much, about how, sorry, about where on the image his ear stops and the background starts. I think that's okay, and then I can go across and double click, and again delete it. So if I zoom out, I can slowly peck away at the image around him, and then just use a rubber to remove the rest of the stuff around the outside. The last tool of the three is the free hand. And if you are a really, really good drawer, you might be able to do this which is just use it around freehand, so you're holding the mouse button down and you're dragging it around the image as close as you can. Um, I certainly don't have a steady enough hand. If you use this on a graphics tablet, you might be good enough with a pen to remove it, but I personally much prefer the polygon because I can now just, on the polygon, I can do a click and a line and another line and define the shape much more how I wanted to be myself.